All right, guys, now that we've got our receiver installed, remember, we've got the antennas coming out the back here. I'm going to turn this a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over kind of cleaning this up now. So obviously the camera may come out again here because I haven't tightened it down yet. But I want you to look at the camera wires here. There's a couple ways you can do this on the camera. You can just, uh, just kind of grab the wires here just like this and just kind of gently twist them i guess if you want or they're 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 gonna start they're gonna stay together pretty well so if you want to do something like that and then that'll just kind of keep that clean right there and you've got already the the vtx wires done so really the only wire left is the receiver wire and what you could do with the receiver wire is you could just kind of twist it as well and lay it down uh you can one of the things that i like to do and if you have a blow dryer i believe we've uh, this will be easy for you to do is you can take some uh, heat shrink heat tubing let's see I'll just take like this yellow one here and you could just slide it over and then you could shrink this down so if you have any you could easily do something like that uh, if you'd like and just cut the excess off but what this will do is just kind of keep everything looking clean as well uh, and it'll end up looking something like this and you don't have to have a heat gun you could just use a regular blow, a blow dryer if you wanted let me show you what that's gonna look like now I'm gonna use my heat gun for this but like I said a blow dryer will work just as well so if you were to do something like this here, just kind of organize all the wires. If you wanted to heat shrink them, sometimes people will heat shrink them like this and keep it to where they're really tightly fitted nicely. And then you can lay it over the back here. You can do whatever you want, but what it'll do is it'll keep the wires looking really good and organized together, or you could just twist them. Or if you have extra zip ties, you can zip tie them. It's, it's really easy to do either way, all right? Now, once we clean up those wires, there's two things we still have to do here outside of putting the plate on. Our camera's moving again, but I'm not gonna worry about it. We need to put the antenna on for our VTX. So what you want to do is make sure you have enough room here and get to this little, little uh, gold circle right here in your VTX, right there, and line your antenna over it. And it's got a little circle as well. Place it over it and just kind of snap it in place. And you'll feel it snap in place when it's on. Uh, so just give it a second. It can be a little bit of pain to line up. Uh, and there you go, all right? Once it's in place, you're good to go. You can put your wires back where you want them all right and this is actually going to come out the top of the somewhere near the top of the plate here we're going to feed this out and it can come out through the back area right here if you want uh, whatever makes it work for you because the battery is going to be up here the cable will be right here so you should have enough room i don't know if it'll fit through this back area here but let me just check that as well uh, actually it will and it fits pretty good so you could actually put it right through this hole right here in the top of the frame just like that and when you do this, you just want to make sure that the connection to the VTX is still connected. You want to make sure it doesn't pop off, okay? So that's how we'll do that. And then the last piece that we need to look at is just going to be our antenna wires for our um, uh, receiver. Now, in that case, you have a couple options. Again, you can use some of the heat shrink if you'd like and run it out the top, as long as you can make sure it doesn't touch the propellers. Some people like to take these and run them out to the uh, bottom of the uh, arms, all right? The other option is we can run them out the top of the, uh, the plate here and use these two little areas just like this, and this would work just fine as well. So let me show you how that's gonna work, okay? Because that's how we're gonna wire it here. So if we take, this, if we take these here, and you're gonna take two additional uh, straps that we gave you, so let me grab, let me find those real quickly. Here they are. So what you wanna do is you want to take these two straps or these two zip ties I mean and you want to go ahead and just run them uh, let me see we'll go from this side it doesn't really make a difference it's, it's a matter of preference uh, but you want to run them in such a way to where they are coming out the top because what you're going to do is you're going to heat shrink your antennas to them okay so let me show you so if I put this one here okay just like that and I'm going to do the next one, just like this. Let me make sure I do it the same way. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to get ready to close this top up. As long as all the wires are in place like they need to be and they all look good, uh, we're going to set our camera one more time where it needs to be because now we're gonna get ready to put the top plate on so this camera will actually stay in place. So let's go ahead and put that down one more time. Make sure we have no wires cut underneath it. There we go. And let me snap this side in right here. 
There we go. Make sure everything is good. Now we're going to go ahead and let's take our plate. And let's grab our let's grab our VTX antenna and let's take our plate here. Feed that through the top and then just line this up, making sure to snap in the camera side plates so that they lock into the top of the frame. All right, I got one side now. I just need to lock in the other side. There we go. And to hold this in place, because this is going to give you the most trouble if you don't tighten it down, just go ahead and put, uh, while you're holding it, just go ahead and tighten down the front screws just so that your camera can stay in place. There's one. Tighten the other one real quick. There you go. Okay. Now we've got every, now we'll screw everything else down when we need to, and we'll tighten our camera down. We can go ahead and do that right now. So just finger tighten that side, those side plates. You don't have to go crazy, because now the top plate's on, it's gonna hold just fine. So there we go, our camera's secured, everything looks great. So now what we have is, remember we have these zip ties here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna carefully send the antenna wire uh, out to that same hole that the zip tie is in. Okay, just like this. And I think you'll want to go, yeah, let me do it like this. You're going to want to go in front of it, not behind it. So let me, let me pull that back. Because depending on the antenna, some antennas are going to be thinner than others, but let's just keep it the same. So we're going to go through the front of it. So take your antenna wire right here, just like that. Come out the front. And we're going to take our shrink tubing. And we're going to place it over it, just like this. And we're going to heat that up. And again, you can use a hairdryer if you'd like. And I'm pulling this back because I want it to be at an angle when it cools, so it holds nicely. So if you bend this just like that, and then you hold it a second when you take the heat off, and you let it cool, it'll kind of hold this bent back look. All right, and now we're gonna take the second wire and do the same thing. Just like this. Give it a little twist so it kind of comes outward a little bit. You want these to be more like a V. All right, there we go. Put those in place. And then we've got our we've got our battery cable. It's gonna have no problem right here. So now let's just go ahead and put the rest of the screws on, and we're pretty much about done. All right, there we go. Now we can put the screwdrivers away and let's just look at what we've got here. Uh, a couple adjustments we wanna make. First adjustment we're gonna make is we want to get these antennas a little bit farther apart here. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a different, uh, I'm gonna grab a different heat shrink here just for my own use. I wanna go with something a little bit different. off all right so we want 
going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use I'm going to use a different color for mine. up again I'm gonna bend these a little bit more outward I just want to change the color so I can show you guys on the video what it looks like I feel like the black on the black is a little hard to see on the camera but if you've already done this you're fine if you're not getting if you're not getting the angle that you want just heat this up a little bit more and like I said you can use your hair dryer whatever you want to use just heat up a little bit more just kind of hold it there a little bit there that's what I'm looking for I want a little bit more of an angle outward Go there. I like that better. A little bit more of an angle. And you can see now with the colors, you can see how that looks, okay? All right, so that pretty much, that's it. We've got our build. Our wires are tucked away nicely on the inside. I'm going to get rid of everything here that we're not using. And what you have now is you have your uh, Martian 140 uh, fully assembled and ready to go. So from here, <clears throat> we will come back and start testing out the power making sure that everything is ready to be plugged in properly to a battery. Uh, you'll have your smoke stopper and whatever else that you're gonna be using. And uh, we'll come back and start the testing and programming in just a little bit. We'll see you guys then.